Okay, so <clears throat> gonna do uh, rock and roll classic rock trivia. If you plan on doing probably you know once uh, every week, I guess. Um, so I'm gonna put this on both of my channels, Doug's Guitar Works and 420 Express. Um, so for the questions, I've got ten here, ten questions. Um, so, you know, if you don't mind commenting down below, say, like, for, if you know the answer or whatever, put, like, number one, such and such, or artist, or band, or whatever, right, or the answer for, like, number one, two, three, whatever, um, if you want. Um, so anyways, I'm going to start off. Um, so, number one, who covered Van Morris's... Let me say that again. Number one, who covered Van Morrison's song, I've Been Working, in 1973? So this will be off their, 1970, came out off their album in 1973. Number two, what is a song Neil Young sings, Needle in a Damage Done, a Boat? So what is that song about? What is... Neil Young's song, Damage, Needle in a Damage Done a Boat. Number three, whose song became more popular, Bob Dylan's All Along the Watchtower or Jimi Hendrix version? Um, number four, what bands did Eric Clapton play in before his solo career? So this will be... His solo career started in 19, you know, since his solo album came out in 1970. So since then, what bands did he play in? Number five, who bit the head off a bat at one of their concerts before? Number six, what was the glam rock band T-Rex name before they shortened it to T-Rex? So before it was called T-Rex, what was their name, um, full name? Number seven, who was a headliner of Woodstock in 1969? What rock album released in 1972 is all cover songs except for the last two. And this one, that one would probably be quite of a hard one. You gotta probably search that up. Um, how did Nazareth, the rock band Nazareth, that sings, you know, Hair of a Dog. Um, so how did Nazareth get its name, get their name? Um, number 10, the last one. What bands this one here is probably kind of like a easy one. Um, what band's famous logo is a tongue and lip and lips? Let me go through this again. I'll go through it again. Um, number one, who covered Van Morrison Morrison's song "I've Been Working" in 1973? So that would have been. Probably three years, about almost three years after it was released. Number two, what is the song Neil Young sings, Needle in the Damage Done a Boat? Number three, whose song became more popular, Bob Dylan's All Along the Watchtower, All Along the Watchtower, or Jimi Hendrix? version. Number four, what bands did Eric Clapton play in before his solo career in 1970? Number five, who bit the head um, off a of bat at their concert before? So he bit the head um, number six, what was the glam rock band T-Rex name before they shortened it to T-Rex? Number seven, 
who was a headliner of Woodstock in 1969, so that would be the first Woodstock. Number eight, what rock album released in 1972 is all cover songs except for the last two? So that one really would be hard to do. So I'm just going to say when it was released. It was released in August, August of 1972. August, so a rock album that was released in August of 1972. So what album? Well, I should say, yeah, what album, rock album released in August of 1972 is all cover songs except for the last two. Number nine, how did the rock band Nazareth get its name? In the very last, what band's famous logo is a tongue and lips? Um, so that's, that would be all 10, yeah, 10. So um, comment down below. I'm going to put this on both of my channels. So comment down below for, you know, if you know the answer or whatever. Um, and thank you all you people that did subscribe to both of my channels. Or even if you subscribe to, say, 420 Express. Make sure to check out my other channel, um, Doug's Guitar Works. Or if you just, yeah, so um, thank you very much for that. Hit a thumbs up and thank you all you people that did subscribe. Hope you really enjoyed this video. So I'm planning, like I said, I plan on doing, you know, these probably once, once a week, I guess. So thank you very much for watching and bye-bye. Uh,